Good morning, Paul Gannon here with Jasmine, just disappeared. So hello to everyone, Jasmine. Um, and Jasmine's going to be helping me out with the targets and some of the partner work today. Uh, just a few things to say before, um, uh, before we, uh, everyone jumps on this. First of all, it's great to see so many of you joining in with the classes and taking part, okay? And um, even though obviously we can't go on regular training, this is a real opportunity to, to improve. Now, most of you probably don't, but uh, when I was younger, well, probably not that long ago, I used to do a lot of home training. So I'd go to my instructor's uh, class, like Mondays and Wednesdays, and three, four times a week, I'd be training at home, like in my bedroom or in the living room, doing stretching and kicking. And so it, this is a real opportunity to improve your technique, but also your fitness and your flexibility. Let's face it, if you don't do these classes, or you don't do anything physical, what are you going to be like, particularly for the adults, what are you going to be like in maybe six weeks or eight weeks or even three months? You're not going to be in great shape. But if you do these classes three, four, five times a week, you're going to be in better shape than you were, your technique's going to be better, and your flexibility's going to be better. Mine has already, because I'm, I'm doing these classes with you, I'm not in, just instructing, I'm taking part. So, this is a real opportunity to take hold of it, all right? Take hold of it. Every day, um, every day at 11 o'clock we do something, and if you miss it, you can watch it later, or watch it on the, um, watch it on the website. New curriculum now, we'd started on Monday, and um, I went through that a bit quick. I know I did on Monday, a bit quick. That's part one, we're gonna continue with part one all this week to make sure that students of all levels and all ages start to get the technique. We're gonna do that again today. It's, it's done in what's called a classical form, so a classical style, I mean. Um, Jasmine can shout out anyone that's popping up there. Dean Fowler. We're, I'll just ignore that. Yeah. We're going to get started. As always, we're going to do some warming up, a little bit of stretching. Practice the technique from the form, practice the kicking from the form. Then we're going to do some self defense and targets. We're going to use the targets you can use at home. Now, some of the partner work today, you'll need a partner for. And if you have it, you can actually still do this partner work. And you can just, uh, you can just imagine someone now with the target practice, if you're on your own. Just do the moves in the air, just like, uh, just like normal. So let's get on, on this. Um, Jasmine, can you keep an update on who's saying hello, please? Um, I'm not a phone, so... I know, you can look at that though, can't you? Natalie says morning. Natalie, <laughs> Natalie Griffin, I'm yeah. sure you join in with this. So I've got my karate belt on, look, got my belt on. I've made some space, I've pushed the table out of the way, <clears throat> and I'm sort of ready. I've even been cheating, I've been doing a bit of stretching this morning already, so my kicks are half decent. So you've got your t-shirt on, your jumper on, whatever, your karate stuff, your trousers, maybe bare feet, or I've got my karate shoes on, they're, they're nice and light. Let's get started. Everyone say, yes, sensei, if you're ready. You ready? Say yes, sensei. Good. Feet together. Let's get our tension sharp, okay? Remember, imagine everyone on this video is watching you as well. Not just me, everyone's watching you. Rest position, let's get a bit of social proof. Rotation, and then do our martial arts bow. That's a, that's a uh, remind ourselves to try our best. Let's get started. As always, on circles, and my arms are really sore from yesterday. If, if for those that didn't join in yesterday, we did it. We did a burpees challenge, we did a press up challenge, and my arms are on fire today, my chest is anyway. So if you joined in yesterday, hopefully you're feeling the same way. A little bit faster, that's it. And here, because we've got to get our elbows and everything all warmed up for when we do those really powerful blocks and punches, we're going to do in that new form that I've invented for home training. Right, we're going to put a hand on the leg, just push to the side, just a little bit of stretching. And then to the side there, a little, little bit closer. And to the side here. And as you know, we want to see your pictures, your videos, particularly videos. Um, if you're on your own, it's quite hard to do, but you could put it on for a second and hold it while you're training, if that's possible. If there's someone else there with you, like a parent, they can video and take some 
pictures. Like anything like 20 seconds, I think is fine. And there's no problem with uploading it and getting it on the uh, comments. Let's do a straightforward lunge stretch. We're going to step forward here and hold for one, two, three, four, five. And step forward, hold for one, two, three, four, five. And again, step forwards. One, two, three, four, five. And step forwards. One, two, three, four, five. Please update me, Jasmine. I message you see coming up in comments. Uh, Eric says hi. Hello, Eric. Great to see you on here. Hopefully, you're joining in. Yes. Let's do a little bit of our, our strength training now. And, well, so not so, so we're going to do a bit of movement. And we're going to start off with where we're bouncing and we're doing crossovers. So see that I'm crossing my feet over? You got the idea. So we're doing crossovers here. All right. And then what we're going to do now, the next thing after crossovers, we're going to be just going forwards. So it's lunging forwards here. I guess we're going to get our, our breathing going. And then back to crossovers. Then lunges, forwards. Now when we go back to the crossover, we're going to use our arms as well. So we're going to cross here, we're going in and out like this. We're crossing over our feet and our hands are doing this. Good, now we get moving. Now if there's a few of you doing this in a small space, don't use your arms, okay? Just use your feet. Or, or be creative in front of one another. And then forwards, as before, just pushing the hands out. As we step forward, here. So let's breathe a little bit now. This is good. Let's get nice and low with these lunges. And then here, back to stars. Logan said good morning from Burton. Good morning, Logan from Burton. Great to see you on this today. And then what we're going to do now is do all the time. Go. So you go a little bit quicker. Start. Forward again. Now triple time. Go. It's even faster. Then start triple time. And start breathing. And in. And in. Let's do our leg stretches. Leg raises. We're going to do a little bit different today. We're going to do a full stretch, a side stretch, and a circle stretch. I'll show you. Just doing my laces up so I don't tip over. Right. What to do? My laces up. No. Right. So, how's this work? We're going to stretch here, forwards like usual, but then. We're going to the side, and then we do a circle. We're going to do that one leg five times. So we go forward, sideways, circle. You got that? Is that yes, Sensei? Let's all do that together. We just do one side. So one, side, circle. Two, front, side, circle. Three. Four, five. You simply use the other leg. Use that other hand as a target for the front ways and the side ways. One, here to the side, circle. Two, side stretch, circle. Three, use that hand as a target. Four, five, now we do a little bit of strength, so I'm going to drop this camera down, awesome, right, well guess what, we're just going to do some sit-ups, you know we like the sit-ups, I'll show you these from the side, you can do them from the front though, that's absolutely perfectly fine. 
Let's start off with these here. We're just going to do uh, 15s today, and we do four different types. So the knees up like this, uh, we're gonna sit as hard as we can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Any mums or dads joining in? We'd love to know that. Or anyone else from your family. Let's do the next set. We have our feet down, hands on the knees, fingertips over the knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. From here, gonna put our hands on our chest. We're gonna crunch up the best we can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The last one, we put off legs straight in the air, and you're just gonna try and touch your toes. Now, if you're super fit, you can sit up here. Otherwise, just reach and touch your toes. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, don't you that last set does. Whoa. Now, we're going we did a lot of press-ups yesterday. We're gonna still do some press-ups today. Can't, hurt, can't harm us, right? So we start off from our shins. We're just gonna do uh, three sets, okay? We're gonna do three sets of 10. And if you want, you can rest in between each set of 10. You can rest after five if you want. But if you're able to, if you can push yourself and do all 30 without resting, that'd be awesome. Unlike yesterday, I'll try and have better technique today. So we'll try and go to the full press up. Ready? Okay, let's do it straight those legs. Get focused, get concentrating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if you, you need to rest, rest, and let's get on it again. Next set. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go to this third set. I'm going to try and go a little bit lower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, well done, everyone. Next, let's get straight into some flexibility while we're sitting down here. First one, legs straight out. We're gonna push in a hole for five today. So big breath in and push. Breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. Back, let's go again. Push, one, two, three, four, five. And one more time. Push, one, two, three, four, five. I think I'm gonna do one more. I think I can go a little bit lower. Okay guys, ready? Push lower, one, two, three, four, five. This time, turn the legs nice and wide. Good. And from here, first of all, back straight. Hands, hands down behind you, lift your chest up, keep your back straight, and just hold that. That is stretching all by itself right there. Good. I'm gonna to go to the side and hold for five. One, two, three, four, five. Jasmine's creeped into my lard and, and stealing biscuits. That's what she's doing. Um, push to the side. One, two, three, four, five. And let's go to forward. Push. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do another set. But before we do that, if we can, if you're able to, lift and push out. Get that stretch a little bit wider. That's right. Good. 
Let's push to the side. One, two, three, four, five. And switch. One, two, three, four, five. And push forwards. One, two, three, four, five. The last switch, we're gonna make that a little bit wider still. Get us ready for our kick in. Good, we're a little bit wider. First of all, back straight. One, two, three, four, five. And let's, that's, that was hard. What was hard? I can't, some, some said that was hard. Good, it should be hard. You know, while we're sitting here, when, when you train, um, that's yeah, when, when, when you train, uh, people that know me, me, no man, I'm quite flippant about a lot of things and I, I'm quite relaxed about things. But when I train, I train. There's no messing around. But even though I'm talking, you should all be in your stretch right here, stretching. You should be aching. So I'm not actually wasting time talking and stretching here. So when you train, train. You know, you're either doing it or you're not doing it. Don't be halfway. Let's push to the side this last time. If you're feeling that, stretch is getting to me today. Let's go a little bit lower if we can. One, two, three, four, five, and push across. One, two, three, four, five, and one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Felt like little hot, hot knives in my legs there. Good. Let's move on to the next section, which is technique. I'm going to adjust the camera. Smooth, like a professional. Let's do the form. We're going to do the, the blocks and punches first, then we're going to do the kicks separately. So the new form involves something called a horse stance. It's where we simply step out wide, like you're on a horse, but you bend your legs a little bit. So let me show you from this angle. See my back straight and I'm bending my legs. You can bend them a little or a lot. The more you bend them, the more of a workout will give your legs. Now, so back straight, the legs are out. That's our horse stance. We start off with one hand out. Now we're doing classical style punching, like you're doing katas or taekwondo pat uh, patterns. And when we do this, all the techniques are going to be about shoulder height. So see here, I'm punching shoulder height. We could punch a bit lower to the chest, but I think a simple reference is through the block's shoulder height. Also, when we do things like the younger block, that's shoulder height as well. The younger ones might not get the references, but it's good to have reference. Now, the hand, now when I come out and see where my hand is, the hand, so I've got my belt here, my hand wants to be just above the belt. Just want to be on it or below or really high, wants to be just above it. So this area is perfect. We step out, one hand out, this hand just above the belt, and our hands are tight, tight hands. And we're going to do one punch. When we punch, we pull this back and we stick that one out and the punch goes to exactly the same place. And then we've got a second punch, a third punch, and a fourth punch. Awesome, let me show that from the side because unlike when we do like normal sparring punches where we move our body, with this we don't move our body. We have our back straight, here, one hand out. I want to punch as strong as I can without moving my body. Let's try that together. One, two, three, four. I'm back to ready position. So ready position is a formal position after you've done a tension. So we step out, one hand. Now, which hand goes out? Is it the left hand or the right hand? Doesn't matter, as long as you put one hand out. And we punch again. One, two, three, four. Now as I punch, I'm not fully locking my elbows, that would hurt. Slight bend of the elbows. Now my legs are aching, are your legs aching? Is that a yes sensei? If you're in a horse stance, your legs are working. Rest position. And as we're punching really strong, our arms are working. Let's do that again. We step out, hand on just above the belt. The punch is going just below shoulder height. Ready? One, two, three, four. Ready, stands. Let's do the punches one more time. Face forward this time. We step out. Doesn't move, Jasmine. I'm oh, just like that. One, two, three, four, five. And ready, stand. So if you breathe in, breathe out. Your legs should be aching a little bit, and your arms should be getting really warm now. Let's do the blocking. The blocking. So we're going to do the punches, then add on the blocking. 
We start with a low block, then inward block, then high block. So, we step out for the punching. One, two, three, four. We leave that hand there, so it keeps it really simple. This other hand goes on top. So I show this, it's on, not like that, it's on top. It's on top of the shoulder. And we simply fire the block low. See how wide it's going? We block it low. But then, to set the other block, if I just left it there, look, it wouldn't work, would it? So I bring it to the center. Bring it to the center for the low block. Other hand comes up, low block. Let's do that again. So if we're punching, one, two, three, four, this hand stays out. Other hand goes on top, block low, and it's gotta be big and it's gotta be strong. Point the hand to the center. This will really challenge some of the children's fine motor movement. Hand on the shoulder, block low, really strong. For the next block, again, we just point the hand slight to the center. The other hand comes from behind. So from the side, it looks like this. It's coming right behind. Okay? Sort of not from here, from right behind. And you block in. Again, the reference is the fist is shoulder height. We extend that arm. The other arm comes up and we block in. It's a very big, powerful movement. Let's do the whole thing from the top for, with the punches. So from ready stance, my hands are crooked. By the way, hands make a good fist. Fingers, top of the fingers, middle of the fingers. Thumb goes out, squeeze. From here, we step out. One, two, three, four strong punches. Hand on the shoulder, low block. Point the hand to the middle. Other hand on the shoulder, low block. We point to the middle, and the other hand comes from behind. This is our inward block, which is going towards the middle of our body. Inward block here. We point that hand out, the other hand comes up. Inward block. The last block, we just keep this hand here, and we go straight up. So look at this. So the other hand comes underneath, it makes, it makes like an upside down T, upside down T and we block straight up above our head. <clears throat> Not in front, but above. Then we bring this down, and we come up. So let's just do the blocking section by itself now. So one hand is out, that was our last punch. Hand comes on the shoulder, block low and strong. We point to the middle. Other hand on the shoulder, block low. Again, the other hand comes back to the hip. We point to the center again, the hand comes from right behind, right behind us. Not in front, but behind, and it swings in. It swings in with loads of power, and we block. We point that hand, this hand comes up, swings in with loads of power. To make the high block, we make an upside down T, come straight up. The hand that we just blocked with, we bring that down, we make another upside down T, and block straight up. Our ready stance, and attention, I tell you, my legs are aching, holding them, even though my horse stance wasn't very low, I'm really aching. Let's read out some comments there, Jasmine, if anything comes up. Um, Nothing in there. We're going to now isolate, as part of that form, there's a front kick and a side kick. As I've said to you before in class and train on these videos, just doing the kick by itself is not enough to improve technique. We have to break it down. And we're going to use something like a chair or sofa to hang on to. So I'm going to use... I'm just going to use this chair, anything that's solid, because we want to be able to hold the leg there and work on the technique in isolation. Isolation, that's not a good word to use, is it? So, if I'm going to stand at this angle, I'm going to practice my side kick, so it's going to go that way. If you're facing the camera, it's going to go this way. But I'm showing you from the side so you can see that I want to break it down to parts. So the first part is, we pick the knee up, not just up, but back. See so you bring me back. And if I had a belt on, my knee is sort of in line with the knot. See that, of the belt. So the first step is, this is step one. Number one, we bring it up. Step two, we stick it out nice and straight. Three is back. And then four is down. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do 10 sets of those. Ready, so one, two, three, and four, getting nice and straight. One, 
Two, lock it out as strong as you can. Hold it there. Three, four. Do exactly the same way as I'm doing it. One, two, three, four. If you can go a tiny bit higher, that's fine as well, but it must lock out. In other words, don't kick like this when there's no extension. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm not sure how many I did, I think it's about seven or eight. One, two, three, four. And we'll do one more kick. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to kick off the other leg. I'm just going to do it. Again, I'm showing it sideways so you can see it, but you can do it straight at the, uh, straight at what, what you're watching is fine. You can hold with one hand or two hands. If you can't hold with one hand, it'll make your body move a bit easier. So, first step is, again, don't worry about a stance, just be side on for the kick. I'm completely side on relative to my kick. So the knee comes up one. We'll hold that, stick it out two, three, then down. So that's when it is four parts with me. We're going to do ten sets. Ready? One, sorry, one, two, three, four. Number two. One, two, three, four. I'm going to to you guys now. One, get the knee up. Two, leg strong. Three, four. One, two, hold it there. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And again, one, two, three, four. I think we've got about two more to do, right? One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. So that's working my legs. I can really feel the muscles in my legs working there. So now we broke the psychic down and we've done some good repetition. Let's do the kick combination for the side kick. So for this form, which is front kick, side kick, turn front kick, side kick. So safety first, make sure you fully look where you're turning. You can see what's behind you, and there's no obstacles in the way. Let's do this. We're going to take the guiding stance from here. Oh, by the way, it's not a regular guiding stance because we do it more classical style. Instead of our guiding stance being here, which is all good, the hand's going to be turned over here, so it's just over our sternum, which is with your solar plexus. The front hand's going to be there. Knuckles, shoulder height, see that's shoulder height. And it's just a little bit more of a formal stance, formal gardening, and then my stance, instead of being here, like an athletic position here, with the toes forward, the, um, it's like an L shape. We push our weight slightly back here. Not that dissimilar to your normal guiding stance. Let's do that, so we're gonna sit, take our hands back. How do we do that? So we have our hands like this, and we step back. That's how we do the gardening stance in a classical style. From here, let's do the front kick followed by side kick with me. Front kick, then we lean back, side kick. Again, I'll check from the side here. So, front kick, lean back, side kick, face you again. Let's do three more sets. Front kick, lean back, side kick. For you ones that are a bit more technical, watch how I bring my arm forwards. So just watch this first. See my arms coming forward with the kick, with the front kick. Okay, let's do, let's do two more sets. Front kick, lean back, side kick, guard again. Front kick, lean back, turn the hips, side kick. Then, what we're going to do is turn. Here, so I'm turning away. I'll turn away the same as you. It won't be so clear, but I want to show you that I've turned. Ready? So I go front kick, 
Do the weight remember. I lean back, look at where I'm going. Side kick. Again, front kick, lean back, side kick. And what I'm doing, see I'm turning my hips just before I side kick. So I front kick, then look at my hips. I turn a bit to get my hips in line to fire a really easy side kick. Look, boom, it's going right behind me there. Let's do that one more time. Right, so we're facing this way. Front kick, lean back, side kick, and ready stance and attention and breathe in. So that's the technique section. We're going to bring those two parts that form together just before the end. Now, we're going to do some self-defense. And today we're going to do some of the groundwork. Again, if you haven't got a partner, it doesn't matter. I'm going to move the camera again so you can see what we're doing on the ground. Right, uh, many of you have done this, many of you haven't. Doesn't matter, you still need to practice it, whether you've done it never before or a thousand times. So this is, a lot of you know how to do a technical stand up. So if you've fallen over, you sit up and you stand up. So if Jasmine's in front of me, she's the bad guy, she's got to look bad, Jasmine, right? I know you can just see her legs, but imagine she's got a big massive head and she looks evil. Right, a lot of you know this where we can just put the hand together and stand up, technical stand up. Okay, but let's say she gets close, she can punch me in the head. So we need a different position. If they're too close, we simply go back here and we lift up one leg. We have our hands covering our head and we can kick out here and do all sorts so she can't hit us in the head. Clearly if I'm here and she's close, she punches me in the head. All right, now if she's further away, I can be here, but let's assume they're close. So we have a different position, a different guard. The guard is where we lie on our back. We're gonna call it a back guard, because no one's got a name for this. We'll call it a back guard. So, and we have one knee up. Why? If we don't have one knee up, nothing stops her marching over, sitting on us, going mount and blasting punches. So we have one knee up. So if she comes close, I can hit her legs or, hit, or guard on her hips here. That's the point of having one knee up. What we're all going to practice now is the, line, is the back guard and get into our technical stand-up. So follow on with me. Right, first of all, on your back. Are you on your back? Is that a yes, sensei? Have both legs bent. Is that a yes, sensei? You got one knee up tight, not loose like this, tight. If it was loose, I might grab it in an ankle lock or something. So tight. The first step, we assume they've gone backwards, they're out, out of range, we sit up. We sit up, one hand strong, one hand out. Remember, they've moved back already. We put both hands down for the stand-up. I know some of you don't have one hand, but do it for two hands today. And step back. See, now all four points are on the floor, both hands and both of my feet. And then I stand up to guard. So that's our technical stand-up from our, on our back guard. So on our back here, we've got both legs bent, one knee up is ready to kick, and we've got our hands here, protecting our face and our head. We assume they move back, we sit up, one hand out, one hand back. Both hands together, step back, then to guard. Let's do it again. On your back here, knee up, both legs bent. We, uh, when we get up as always, we roll on the elbow, the hand comes up. Both hands, and then step back. Let's do that one more time. So from that lying down position, we've got this kick ready. We're gonna sit up here, both hands, and then up. Now, what we're going to do is add movement. So if Jasmine is my nemesis, right? She's in front of me. Let's move back a bit. And keep her away like this. But remember, if she gets past my legs, she can like punch me and sitting on me and all sorts, of, me on stomach or something. She can, she can pass me. So what we're gonna do, if you've got a partner and you've got a little bit of space, do this slow. You're not trying to trip them up or do anything stupid. You're gonna be super safe. All we practice is the movement. Now, how do we move? We have one leg in the air, so the foot that's on the ground moves. See how I'm moving? If you want to be clever, we can use the other leg to move back. But it doesn't matter how you do it, but you have one leg down to move. Remember, we're not half sitting up. We, with God, we're completely low or we're completely up. There's no in between. So, ready. So Jasmine's gonna circle me. 
If you haven't got a partner, do this by yourself. Just circle. Ready, go. She circles, goes back the other way, half circles. You do half circles, quarter circles. No, don't trick me. She's trying to trick me. Don't trick your partner. Here. Just, right, she's going around. I just follow, that's not a problem. Following around. Now, I'm meant to sit up. We sit up here. Both hands stand up. Now, if you have got a partner, they're going to go down now and try that. So Jasmine goes down here. If you haven't got a partner, just practice it again. This is vital self-defense 101. Self-defense mixed martial arts. This is, you need to be good at this. So the legs are bent. She has one leg up ready to kick out. So you, she's going to use this leg. Okay. Um, if I move this way, she's going to switch legs. So she moves her hips and her body. See, all the time... She's, uh, if I change direction, she changes direction. And all the time, I'll go like this, ah! And all the time, she's got full guard, which means her head is as far away from my fist as possible. So I can't get her like this. All right, then, to, then she sits up, technical stand up, both hands down. Both hands down. Right, you put one hand down. Right, the next thing, we're going to use some equipment. So Jasmine's going to use a cushion. And we're going to practice the stage four. So what I mean is, if she comes too close, she can punch me in the head. So as she comes close in guiding stance, I put my foot there and foot there. As she leans in, tries to punch me. See, I've got my legs stopping. I can have a little bit more stroke. As she leans in, here. Now I don't want you hurting anyone accidentally doing this. So Jasmine's. We're going to use a uh, cushion as a pad. So what she's going to do is she's going to push in for four seconds. Push in. One, two, three, four. Now, if I'm a bit slow and dopey, she'll push me on the head. One, two, yeah. Just like that. I don't lift my legs up because it's slow. Here. But, but as she goes to push in, I say go. We go here. Push. One, two, three, four. She's going to move back. Is that yes, Sensei? We're building this self-defense up the best way we can. Let's do this. Ready? Go. Push. One, two, three, four, pull back, keep one leg up, go, push, one, two, three, four, and go, push, one, two, three, four, and one more, push, one, two, three, four, then she moves back, we sit up, hand down, knee up, both hands down, stand up, now, if there's two of you, you can change over, if you're on your own, you can still do it, just imagine someone's there, so my, your partner's down now. Right, again we're going to push in, and she's going to, now if she does nothing, I'm going to bash you on the head, right? Just a reminder, let's go, push in, one, two, three, four, and back, she has one leg ready, push in, one, two, three, four, and I pull right out of range, push in, one, two, three, four, pull back, and one more time, push in, one, two, three, four. Then she sits up, both hands go down, technical stand up. Awesome. Right. And bring it back up here now. Good. Last section is targets. We're going to use some paper. So what you need is a paper. It might be a rent bill or something. You don't need it anymore, do you? Um, it should give you a rent holiday. We're going to use the paper as a target to get the snap on the punches. We're going to do a horse stance push. Jasmine's going to hold it. Again, just chest high because that's where I'm punching. When I'm in guarding, when I'm in my horse stance, horse stance. And what we're going to do, we're going to do four sets of four punches. We have one hand out already. And we just go a bit close and we're going to punch out. One. So it makes a bit of a snap. Two. Three. Four. A bit more power, actually it's slightly, I want to be slightly lower. A bit more power this time. One, two, three, four. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. You ready? Go. One, two, three, four. And one more time, go. One, two, three, four. There's my partner's going. She's going to be in horse stance, one hand out. That like Jasmine's punches won't be as good as mine. She's not in a classical martial arts like I did when I was younger. Uh -huh. um, right, unlike, I said that, unlike me, when she was a black belt, she could come over people and rip their arms off. I couldn't do that. Anyway, we're ready. I'm going to hold it out here. She's going to punch it with me. One, two, 
three, four. Second set. One, two, three, four. Add more power. Go. One, two, three, four. Ready for this? Add more power. Go. One, two, three, four. Last set. Go. One, two, three, four. Wonderful. Next one, we're going to use the cushion. The cushion pad, Jasmine. And we did the side, front kick side kick earlier. I must stress, before we were locking out the kick super strong. Now we're just going to touch the surface and keep our partner safe. This is more for our um, general fitness. We're going to do the side kick, front kick, side kick, 10 sets. Ready? One. Two, I've got to make sure I turn my hips. Three, so I turn my hips. Good. Four, I've slowed down, that's a bit fast. Five. Six, we've got to turn on that side kick. Bottom of your foot hit. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now, um, what Jasmine's going to do is go behind me. Then just turn. Like we were doing before, we turn now. We've turned, and we're going to kick. We're now kicking off the other legs. So the other front kick's kicking now. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Last part of the class, we're going to do the, um, don't touch it. She hasn't touched the screen, man. I just want to find the comments. Doesn't matter, you have to go back to it later. Chloe says she loves the technical stand up. Chloe. Hello, Chloe, I'm glad you asked it. Different way you've done it before. Initially, you've done it standing up, I mean, sitting up. This is if we're lying down, so there's two parts of that. Um, let's do the whole, f let's do part one, the whole thing. Are you ready? Is that yes, Sensei? You ready for this? Good. So we start, we go to the tension to begin with, and then this is how we make our ready stance. See that? We bring the hands into cross. Then we go here. The fists are about height, and the arms are slightly bent. We're not like this, not like this, like this. One more time, so from the tension, cross your arms here. We step out. I'm stepping out with my left, you can step out with your right. Whatever you feel comfortable with, stepping out low. Let's go low on this, one. Two, three, four. Then we block, hand goes on the shoulder. One, point to the center with that hand. Other hand on the shoulder, block, low block two. For the next one, the hand goes to the center again. The hand comes right behind. Big inward block, see it's coming across my body. Straighten that. Other hand comes up, inward block. And my other hand, see I'm moving it, is on just above my belt. For the high block, we keep the hand here, we make an upside down T. We block straight up. We bring the hand down that's just blocked, make another upside down T, straight up. From here, we simply go and step forward and guard there. Now, if you haven't got room to step forward, guess what? You can step back. It, for this, what's most important is the space you have. So, we've stepped back. We're in our classical guarding stance with the hand. Just above our sternum, front hand here. We're now going to front kick and side kick. Front kick, lean back, get the angle, side kick, and we guard. The last part, we turn, hand comes up, and we guard. This time, we're going to front kick and side kick again. Front kick, side kick, we guard there, and then we simply turn, and we go ready stance and attention. We'll do that again, right? We'll do that again. We'll do that, uh, we'll do it two more times. So, how do we do it? Ready stance, our hands crossed here. It's very dramatic. Hand comes out, we step. One, two, three, four punches. Hand to your shoulder, block low and wide. This hand centers, hand to the shoulder, Block low and wide. 
we point it to the center and we do a big inward block. This inward block's coming from high, right to the middle area. We point that, hand comes up high, inward block. We make the upside down T, high block straight above your head, bring it down, make an upside down T shape, straight up. From here, I'm gonna step and guard forward. This is where this hand is, this is where this hand is. Palm up. I'm moving back a bit just so I don't kick the camera. We front kick, bring the arm forwards. Turn our hips to the side position. Side kick. We then lift the hands up and turn behind us. Do you move your left or your right foot? It doesn't matter. For now, turn. Now the main thing when you turn is you're in a position where you can front kick. So you don't want your legs crossed. So front kick, lean back, side kick, we guard, and then to finish, we guard again to any stance. But let me do that one more time. Hopefully you're all following along the best you can with this. It's okay if it doesn't feel quite right. Remember, we're doing a tip test at the end of the month on the progress we've made, and then in, if we see it in three months, we're gonna do a virtual belt test again. All right, so hand comes out. A bit stronger and fast, I'm going to do four punches. Go. Then we're going to do two blocks. One, hand to the shoulder. Two, hand to the center. Inward block. One, hand to the center. Inward block. Two, upside down T-shape. High block. One, two. Bring the hands back, classical guard. Front kick, lean back, side kick. Then I bring my hands up for full turn, front kick, side kick, front kick, side kick, and then finish here. And attention, whoa, I'm pretty tired. We did a lot of things there, we did the self-defense, we did targets, but we really worked on the side kick as well. You can practice that side kick drill, holding onto a chair at any time. Remember we did it in three parts, we went fold, kick, back and down, actually four parts, broken down to four sections. That's how you have black belt level technique, that's how you build an excellence by breaking it down. We worked a lot on the technique, on the blocking, the hand position. That is a challenge for some of our black belts, I haven't done classical blocks before. Again, hopefully you're enjoying that. We have a, a flexibility class tomorrow at 11am. I hope we can do this outside, but we probably won't. I, want to, um, I know the sound is awful when I do it in my room here. Then on Saturday, we've got our third class of the week. We're going to repeat what we did today. We're going to do a few different types of drills. And we're going to build up that self-defense if we can. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. And... Um, Feedback, please put your comments, your pictures. If you've learned something new, tell us. If you, you couldn't do the move the other day and you couldn't uh, give us feedback, give your instructors feedback, please put it in the comments. And anyone can post on this page. It's open to anyone to post on. Uh, particularly um, Natalie's students, I know you post on and, and Natalie's Ninja and goes, what they're called? Ninja Lees. They're called Ninja, they're called Ninja Lees, Natalie's page. It's a great name and that's wonderful. But please post it on our page as well because our students don't all see that page and they want to see how awesome Natalie's students are as well, right? So post on the main page, goes for everyone. Feet together, let's finish up strong and bow. Thank you, have a wonderful day.